something else that's powerful about winners. Everybody, everybody say winners are encouragers. And everybody say this, winners need encouragement. The second thing I want you to notice in 1 Chronicles chapter 12 is God says the Gadites shall be men of war for battle. And he said they shall have faces like lions and feet as swift as deer. He gives a description of a winner, and he says one of the ways that a person, you know they're a winner, is they have a face like a lion. A lion is a predator, and his eyes are not, he didn't have one eye over here and one eye over here like a deer. He has, he has his eyes in front, and it's so that he has, listen, laser focus. See, winners have to get laser focus, and they're not distracted and deterred by all the noise and this and that and this and that. But this one thing I do, I reach for the prize of the high calling. I have a destiny and I can't let all of this and all of this distract me. I have laser focus, laser focus. You don't get your eyes all down here. You Looking unto Jesus and, and, and realizing what he's called you to do will require laser focus. What are you focusing on? You set your eyes on the prize for the joy that was set before him. Jesus endured the cross. When he was in his torture season, when he was being trampled and spit upon, he carried the cross, but the Bible said his eyes weren't all down here listening to every criticism and lie that was being told about him because he said for the joy that was set before him during his crucifixion, he was seeing the resurrection. He endured the cross. The second thing is it says, and his feet, a winner has feet that are swift as a deer. He leaves swiftly. He moves quickly like a deer. What does that mean? Joseph is a beautiful picture of a winner. Joseph had a magnificent dream, but Potiphar's wife, with a spirit of adultery, tried to get him in the bed. She said three times, lie with me. My husband's on a business trip. Lie with me. Lie with me. She seduced him and tricked him to come into the bedroom. And I'm sure she had on a biblical dress, lo and behold, and, 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 and letting everything hang out and, and, and showing him, you know, come on into my bed. The Bible said that he ran and got out of there. And she ripped his coat off. Poor guy. He, the, his brothers ripped his coat off. He couldn't keep a coat. He lost two coats, but he kept his dream. You might go through seasons of losing stuff, but if you follow God, you'll hold on to the dream. And in the end, he got the coat back. He got a ring of authority back. And all the barns and their corn of the world, he owned it. But the test was in that room, that bedroom. When he acted like a winner and had deer feet, you got to know when to get out of there. Something pops up on your computer, get out of there, swift feet. You go to somewhere with people and they start pulling out cocaine and some party turns into something, get out of there. Get, in, get on a date and you thought he was saved and then you find out he's only saved from the head down to the waist. The rest of him is not saved. Get out of the car and call Uber if you have to. But get, get deer's feet because winners know when to run. Got to walk careful. In dangerous, highly dangerous times. And to give you one more. Well, if you're going to get anything out of it, you're on my last point almost. <laughs> the, the greatest danger to winners is found in the story of Gad. Gad associated and teamed up and started camping out for 40 years in the wilderness with another tribe called Reuben. And this is the prophecy over Reuben from the father the same day he spoke over Gad. Reuben, you're my firstborn. My might and the beginning of my strength. He's speaking now. He's saying these things are, should be in you. Might, strength. The excellency of dignity. The excellency of power. In other words, you are loaded, boy, with incredible, incredible potential. But watch the next verse. 
You're as unstable as water. And because of your instability, you will not excel. Now, what does that mean? It's unstable as water. Water's unstable because it, water changes in whatever atmosphere it gets in. If you put water in a cold atmosphere, a freezing atmosphere, it turns to ice. If you put water that's ice into a warm atmosphere, it turns to liquid. It can turn to steam. It becomes like the environment it's put in. And he said, son, you have so much potential, but you're unstable as water. If you would just be who you are, and then if they don't change, get deer's feet and get out of there. But you got to have laser focus to do what the place I'm taking you to. You got to have something in you. You got to stay encouraged. And you're not going to get encouraged. Here's, here's the point the greatest danger to winners is hanging out and associating with the wrong people. Because when, when Gad, who's full and born, full of potential and born to win. When they started camping out for 40 years, everywhere the camp was set up, Reuben and Gad stuck together. Just like Judah and, the Benj and, and Benjamin stuck together. It, 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 one of them kind of had partners of, 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 of tribes that stuck together more than others, like a family. But they stuck together, those two. Now listen. And when it came time for Israel to cross the Jordan River into the promised land, your Bible said we, we, we preach and tell people that all the children of Israel came across. That's not what it says. Two tribes stayed on the other side of the river and never entered the promised land. Guess who those tribes were? Reuben said, I like it here. Let's settle here. This is good, but it's not God's best. And Gad, because of their tight association with Reuben, the greatest danger to a winner is who you associate with. Because negative people will make you settle for less. Dream thieves will take away what God has called you to because they'll convince you that you can't do it. Who you associate with is critical. Preaching better than y'all letting on. He said, I want you to win, but you're not going to win if you, unless you quit hanging around the wrong people. If you're struggling with drugs, quit hanging around drug addicts. If you have an alcohol problem and you can't control it, quit hanging around a bunch of drinkers. If you are a negaholic, you don't need to get around other people who are negative. It brings the worst out of you. Stay away from unstable people. Get laser focused. Get a made up mind. Get deer's feet that gets you out of negative situations quick because God says, I have a high calling for you. You were born to win. You can't play around with losers. Get away from the wrong crowd. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.